Hi people, um, just a quick update. Uh, I've had a few problems with the um, with recording. Um, I think I've got it sorted now. <clears throat> um, also, a major problem with the pond where uh, I lost all the electrics the other night uh, during a thunderstorm. The good news is, uh, and at great cost, I've got a uh, a guy coming out to actually um, fix it. I'll put the consumer box in and um, hopefully wire it up so it doesn't happen again. As you can see, I think they're doing fine down there. And everything's looking good. Uh, I'd like to thank um, those that have subscribed to my channel uh, it means a lot especially when you're first starting out as I'm sure you will all know um, please 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 give it a chance it will take a little bit of time to get, get everything perfect um, and subscribe anyway I'll um, carry on with this short video just a quick uh, quick little update um, Today I'm having my pond electrics put in, and as you can see, I've got the professionals in. There's Jed there just cutting the armoured cable to go through. <laughs> Say hello, Jed. Hiya. <laughs> um, we'll catch up with you in a little bit um, when we got a bit more further down the road. Cheers for now. Well, people, I've finally finished it. It's all covered in now, um, as you can see. It's not looking too bad. It is only a shelter uh, for the filters in way of a lean-to. But there you go. Fish are getting ready for their evening meal. They're getting a bit naughty. You're jumping out of the water and every time I go past, I'll just take you around and show you the inside of the filter house. <laughs> it's been a bit of an adventure. I've had to buy a circular saw, a cordless screwdriver, uh, just to get it done. Uh, as you can see, it's looking a bit more tidy in here now. Um, on temperature today is uh, 25.4 and the outdoors is 22.7. I've got a little light in here which uh, is okay but uh, it's not ideal. As you can see I've got my workmate is covered up in there. And we'll set a steps to get up to the, the top of the shower because being a little short ass, I can't reach it. <laughs> Buckets there for me uh, cleaning, filter cleaning, etc. And this morning I did clean out the shower, uh, the um, skimmer, and in the top of the filter, I don't know whether you heard that, that was greedy guts again. Uh, at the top of the um, shower there, I did have some filter floss in there, and as I said before, it blocked up and consequently emptied the pond. But just run you around again, show you what I've got on here. As you can see, I've got one for the shower, separate float, fi float switch for the heater. Uh, the um, main filter and the heater only wiring running at 39% uh, and 19 on the shower. Anyway, as I've said before, um, turn you around, please <laughs> subscribe, hit the like button if you uh, if you think it's not brilliant. Bear with me because I am uh, only learning at the moment. But um, don't be afraid to hit the thumbs down. But please leave a comment if um, if you do. Just telling me what I can do better because, as I said, I'm learning. Anyway, that's about it from Koi Karma with Dave. And I'll catch you next week.